All right, now we're going to show you how to burn the image into your screen. And what we've got here is we've got a transparency that we've printed on an inkjet printer. And it's best to use a, just a black line design so that your printing is just straight black. Um, that's going to block the light out the best and, and give you a nice defined line. Um, we've positioned this on our light box inside the UDU machine here. And we're actually going to print on the back of a t-shirt. And that's roughly where we want it on the back of the shirt. So we've got that sitting on our light box. And then we'll go ahead and pull our screen out of the drying rack. As you recall, when we put that emulsion on, there was a, a shiny side to the film. And that's just a clear protective layer. And we're going to peel that off because we don't need that anymore. And so this is the bottom side, this is the flush side of our screen. And so we'll flip that over and we'll use these pins, alignment pins, on the machine to line up or to set our screen on. And that holds the alignment. And then we'll take our adult platen that has this foam back here that helps to, helps to push everything down and get a nice tight fit of your transparency onto your emulsion there. So we'll place that over the top and then we can go ahead and close our top down and it's best to put something that weighs a few pounds on top of this while this part's happening. We got a nice bowl of oranges here and that just helps to keep that nice tight seal there. And then we've got our controls on the front of here. Eight minutes is typically a good exposure. Um, you'll have to just experiment with that. It could change from design to design depending on what you're trying to do. But eight minutes will be good for us. If we use this button here, it will just turn our light on and it will stay on. This one will actually time us. So we'll go ahead and hit that one. And it's now turned our light on in our light box. And we'll go ahead and let that expose for about eight minutes.